No one says four-dimensional chess or five-dimensional chess anymore. However, in spite of this, people still take the principle of the argument and make it out to seem like Donald Trump is Michael Schofield formulating a complicated plan with multiple contingencies to get his goal. And we see right now that that is not the case. For the first time, it seemed as if Donald Trump was getting ready post-election to do something that we wanted. We want to see acts that can deal with immigration and demographic displacement and anything of that nature, traveling. But he put a six-month break on it with a corny-ass ultimatum that by the end of six months, if you haven't figured out a way to make DACA fully legal, and implementing it into the immigration policy or something of that nature, he's going to pull a plug on it. That's what he said. And of course, I saw the tweet and I saw the comments. People on the left were like, man, you're an evil, evil man. But... When it gets down to it, I'm also reading everything online, all these discussion threads, and he hasn't done any favors to the political right by giving a six-month break, because I'm seeing that he created a very powerful, inadvertently a very powerful echo chamber within the left, where if you try to discuss this issue, and you're not good at trolling, like a Mike Enoch, or even a Greg Johnson, which I don't like praising Greg Johnson. It's going to end with you getting crushed in that echo chamber if you try to naturally debate the issue. This would be much better if he were to pull the plug right now and end the act. But he isn't because he's obsessed with public relations. And I suspect that obsession with public relations is why many in the alt-right and even Kekistan, which is kind of a meme now, why do you love him so much? It's because he's obsessed with, he loves the attention. And that's something a lot of people in those spheres have in common, the love for attention love for being in all these articles, being a topic of debate for other people, being the third person that everyone considers a subject of discussion. And it upsets me how many people say, well, Trump is not our guy, but we can steer him or lead him to where we want. That is a delusion. If you consider yourself that much leadership, that you can influence people that powerful, knowing who you are, you are delusional. And I've seen the same type of logic being used whenever an alt lighter sees something they don't like in the Charleston situation. Where there, there's so many guys with Nazi flags or Confederate flags, they're obviously PSYOPs, and some of them probably are, a lot of them probably are, but the ones that are legit, they're still using the same rhetoric as our political enemies to discuss them, and they're saying, oh, well, okay, I won't bully them anymore, but we can influence them. They may not be our guys, but we can influence them to be our guys. No, you can't. And it's that same principle that we're going to influence Trump even though he's not our guy to our side. That is somehow a contradiction that mixes with four-dimensional chess. And as I peep stuff like 4chan threads and Sticks and Hammers tax video on Donald Trump's like tax break plan, Everyone thinks that this guy is Dr. House 
getting ready to formulate, like Sherlock Holmes, a plan to catch the culprit, to really defeat the political left, which at this point should no longer be our goal. We move past that we should be instituting our plans. Donald Trump is not a part of that anymore. Donald Trump is not behaving like a low time preference man. Everything is high time preference. Everything is, let me get some attention right now. Maybe people would like me this time if I put a six month break on it. Maybe people would like me this time if I flip flop on Syria or Saudi Arabia. No, none of that is going to happen. All he has done is hurt his actual supporters and turn guys like me who really fucked with him against him. And that's really all I'm going to say on the subject. It's been your boy, Miss Wonka7, and suck my dick.